Okay, so in order for me to take out the uh, O-pan, I have to take out the exhaust manifold. And the shield has to be removed. There's three bolts, one here, one there, one on the bottom, so there's three. Okay, I'm gonna take them off and I'll take out the exhaust manifold. Okay, so there's actually four bolts in here. One here, two, three, Four. Bolts are pretty rusted, so you might well put oil in there later on. So we'll put it back. Heat shorts out. Uh, usually use this to if it's rusted, especially exhaust. This is pretty good. It says powerful rust penetrating catalyst. So since it's rusted, why is it? Okay, so there's two size 14. And this is under pressure with the spring. And a bolt nut too. So I just have to remove those two and then I can pull excess manifold so I could drop the old pan. Okay, so it's good to clean them with rag, otherwise it will go inside your tool socket. So there's one more 10 millimeter in the back here. So in order to get into here, you gotta remove this bracket here, which is what? Size 17 and 12 and 12. And then finally size 10 here. just to remove this plate. See, go in here. That's a whole bunch of bolts and nuts in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna work, start with the back first. And then work myself in. 
Make sure you have an old pan bucket ready because this thing is going to drop and it's pretty messy. Okay, so I got the old pan out. So over time the gasket go bad. This is what I'm going to take out. So I don't think this has been replaced ever since. It's cracking. And it's good to spray a lot of the greaser to that hold this car. Okay, so I just finished cleaning up inside and outside, as well as the bolts. Now, before you do this, make sure you have your old materials needed. And before you start, make sure it's. So make sure you have this silicon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some in the corner. So that way when I put them up, it doesn't move when I put the bolts back up in the engine. Okay, so I put some silicon just to anchor them in place. So they don't move when you put them back in the engine. Two more bolts and we're done. Okay, so finally put back the two spring loaded bolts. And thanks for watching. See you next time again. Thank you.